Michigan will launch the largest talent attraction campaign for a state in the United States, according to the state's economic development arm. Rachel Louise just explores the new investment aiming to bring more workers to the Great Lakes state. With a population growth behind the national average, Michigan's leaders are hoping that a massive new ad campaign will get the state on screens around the nation and bring more talent to our cities. Everybody wants a healthy work life and life life. Where you can dream big in tech or medicine. Meet Michigan's latest ad campaign, You Can in Michigan. Want to start living your best life? You can in Michigan. $20 million is the first investment in the campaign, which will run in 12 cities, including New York, Austin, and San Francisco. But our growth depends on growing and attracting new talent to the state. That is why we've worked hard to invest in the kitchen table issues. The campaign comes with this AI-driven site, themichiganlife.org, helping the user find a career and introducing them to attractions in the state. It's far from the first state marketing campaign to make waves nationally. Let's take a walk. The famous Pure Michigan campaign has been around since 2006. Pure Michigan. And it'll continue to run with $15 million in funding this year alone. Another campaign run by the Michigan Economic Development Corporation in August, touting the state's LGBTQ rights and abortion access, partially targeted conservative states. All of these different pieces tell that a version of that same story. Michael LaFave specializes in interstate migration at the Mackinac Center, a fiscally conservative think tank in Midland. I love the ads too. It's just a, a matter of do, do they effectively draw people to the state who wouldn't otherwise be coming anyway? He points to policy and economic freedom, not ad campaigns, as a driving force for migration. So at the turn of the 20th century, uh, we had to uh, practically beat people back at our borders who were coming here for the opportunities that existed for them. Census data shows Michigan lost population in both 2021 and 2022. These new campaigns come as Whitmer works to bring in new talent and keep existing talent here. In Lansing, Rachel Louise Just.